Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I am going to show you how to create your Payhip account and start creating your digital shop on Payhip. In my previous video, I talked about transitioning from Etsy to Payhip and how I experimented with other programs like Shopify and Squarespace and why I decided to stick with Payhip. If you want to know about that journey and that process, I'll leave a link to that video in the description box. My goal for this video series with Payhip is to inform you about Payhip, have you get started with your account and set up your digital shop. So if you want to continue on with this journey, feel free to subscribe to this channel. If you want to follow along with this tutorial, go to payhip.com. If you want to support this channel, another way to do it would be to use my affiliate link for Payhip. And I will leave that in the description box below. The first thing you need to do is have an email address. I'm going to be using a demo email address to set up my account. Now, if you don't have a business email address, that's fine. Just use whatever email you have. You can always swap it when your shop is already set up. If you have your business account already set up and you have a business email, go ahead and use that. So add your email address here and click on get started for free. All right. I've selected a password and all you need to do is create an account. The next step would be to set up your business name. Again, remember that you can set up whatever you want because you could always change it. So don't spend a lot of time thinking about the perfect name. If you already have an existing business name on Etsy, for example, you can use that same name. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using demo at designs by Darwin and I'll hit continue. And here is where you can also rename your store. I'm going to stick with the same one. And now we can click and get started selling. All right. So right now we are in the dashboard area, quick overview of the dashboard area. You have the main place that you would come to when you are setting up your shop, adding a new product and reviewing your stats. Now that we're here, the first thing would be to add your first product. Now, remember, you can add a product to the shop just to get the process moving. It doesn't have to be a product that you're ready to sell, or it could be a product that you're ready to sell. So for example, if you have products that you are moving from Etsy to Payhip, you're certainly welcome to use that product or just use whatever you have as a placeholder. You could always change it when you have the product that you're ready to sell. So to move this process along, we're going to add a product. So go ahead and click on add a product. If, for example, you want to do another step before this, you can always click I'll do this later and move on to the next step. For this step, we're going to go ahead and add a product. So click on add a product. And this process is actually, again, very easy. I really love how minimalist the website is. It makes it so easy to add products and also look at a variety of products we can add. So digital products, of course, membership physical products. So if you have a physical component of your business, you can sell physical products too. You can sell a coaching service, which could be part of a digital product or a part of a course. And finally, you have the option of bundling things. And that means you can bundle any of these five options and sell it as its own product. All right. So click on digital product. First step would be to add the product. So it says upload your file. This is the product that your customer is going to receive at the end of the transaction. So if you're selling Canva templates, for example, you want to add a file that contains the link to your Canva template. This is what your customer would receive when they click on download to get their digital product. All right. So here I have a PDF that contains a link to a habit tracker. If you have more than one product, you can certainly upload more for this product. One file is sufficient because one file can contain multiple links to multiple products. If you want to add more products, you can click on upload another product file and go through the same process. Now here is where you add your title and I'm just going to add habit tracker. And here would be where you set up your price. If you are in the United States, click on us dollar. Otherwise you can change it to whatever your currency is and choose your price. I'll leave this at $5, but do note that you can do $0. So for example, if you wanted people to pay whatever it wants, all you need to do is just put zero plus or one plus or two plus, and 
people can pay whatever they want. For this, I will change it back to $5. And here is where you would add your mockups. Now, if you are already selling digital products, you are probably familiar with the term mockup. The mockup is a visual representation of the product that you are selling. It showcases the product through photos or sometimes videos. And this is the thumbnail that shows up when your product is listed for sale. So the main photo of your product. I'm going to go ahead and upload the product. What's also nice about PayHip is you can add videos. So maybe like a mini tutorial to show people how it visually looks like more than just the static images. You can embed a video. So you click on this and post your YouTube video or Venmo or SoundCloud link. I recommend using YouTube because you can create the short videos, put it on YouTube, upload it to YouTube as unlisted. So it's not available for the general public to find, but it's available to anyone that has access to the link. So what you need to do is copy that unlisted link from YouTube, post it here and click on add and it would have your video available. All right, so I have the link from YouTube. All I'm gonna do is click on the embed audio video and put the link there and click add. All right, so it shows up here as one of the pictures, but later on when it's displayed, it actually shows up as a video. The next thing would be to add your product description. With PayHip, the description box gives you all of these options, including adding more photos, add in links and add in videos. So you have the option to insert a link, insert an image and insert a video within your description. So I'll go ahead and I'll copy my product description that I have from Etsy and I'll paste it over here. And you can see we have the option of changing the headings to something maybe more bold or bigger to highlight that it's a header, for example. And of course you can go up or go down depending on the size that you want. Moving on to the next step would be to change the visibility. You have the option to select from visible, invisible, and unlisted. For this product, I'm gonna keep it as visible so I can see what it looks like after it's listed. No one's gonna find this product and make a purchase because my shop, it's not set up yet. So. Click on advanced options and I'll show you a few things here. Here you can add a few other things like if there are variations, so maybe you have different colors, you can click on this. And once you do that, you can add different variations. I'll leave this step for another video. If you wanted to capture the email address of anyone that makes a purchase and put it to a specific mailing list with your email service provider, for example, ConvertKit, which is what I use, you can attach your ConvertKit account to your PayHip account. When you've done this step, if you click on this checkbox, it gives you a list of all of your lists in your account and you can attach it to a specific subscriber list. If this doesn't make any sense, don't worry about it. I will have a separate tutorial to describe this step because it requires setting it up first in your marketing page and then attaching your products to that email list. So, just wanted to show you the advanced options available for the purposes of this tutorial. We're going to keep it as is and click on add product. All right. So now that this step has been done, let's go ahead and take a look at what this product looks like. So this is what it looks like. Now, mind you, this is not the final layout. You can certainly change the layout of your product page once you've set up your shop, but this is generally speaking how the product would be displayed on your shop. You have a place for the photo and you have another place with the description. When you set up your shop, you can play around with the different sizes of the image versus the description. But generally speaking, this is what the layout looks like. All right, so going back to dashboard, we're gonna tackle the next step, which is to set up the checkout process. This process involves attaching your payment account so that when your customer goes to your shop and makes a purchase, they can either pay through PayPal, for example, or use their credit card. In order to do this, you yourself, you need to have a PayPal account and maybe a Stripe account. So I recommend having these two accounts. They cost nothing to set up. 
And once you have those accounts, you can go ahead and attach them to your shop. So you can link your PayPal account and your Stripe account and your currency. And that way, when your customers come to your shop, they can make a purchase with their credit card or with PayPal. I'm going to link my existing PayPal account. So if you already have a PayPal account, this should be a quick, easy process. If you don't, you have to first register before completing this step. If you already have an account, click on link PayPal account. Add your PayPal email address and then click on confirm PayPal account. If you have completed all the necessary steps, you should get to this page that says your account has been successfully connected. So go ahead and click on go back to the Payhe website. And then you go through the same step to add your Stripe account. All right, so now we're back in the dashboard. We're down to the last step and that would be to customize our store design. Go ahead and click on customize store design. Now this step takes us to the store builder. So now that we're here, we do have to kind of design everything from scratch, but don't worry, Payhip does have pre-designed themes that you can use to get started with. So now that we're here, the only thing we have is a product that we've added. We have nothing else. So if you go to your website, there is nothing. It just has a product and a simple about me page. The first thing I recommend is going to change your store style and then go to themes. And here we can switch to another theme or view all the available themes. So click on view all available themes. This is the default theme that comes with a shop. And I like the harvest theme. It's very minimalist. It's perfect for selling digital products. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. This is the demo of the theme and you can play around with it to see what it looks like. After viewing all the available themes, come back to this page and click on switch to another theme. So because we've already viewed all the themes that are available, we know we like the harvest theme. You could also preview it here if you wanted to, but we've already previewed the theme. We know what it looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and click choose and click on, I understand I'm switching my theme and click on. Okay. Here's a preview of our shop. It's not looking like a lot, but we will build it step by step. Right now we only have a shop page and a contact page and I'll show you what the final product could potentially look like. All right. So this is a shop that I built using that same theme that we saw previously. This is my digital shop that I use to sell journals, planners, Google spreadsheet, and some printables. I have my homepage shop page, my blog a page where people can log into their account. So if they've purchased something and they created an account, they can log in back into their account to retrieve their purchase. And I have my social media links here and I have my footer that has additional links, things like my frequently asked question page, my refund policy, privacy policy, and terms of service. And of course, if you wanted to contact me, you can click on that. We get to this page where people can add their information to send me a message. All right. So this process, like I said before, is the most time consuming process, but we'll go through it step by step. All right. To navigate back to the dashboard area, click on the icon at the top left hand corner. Click on exit store builder. This is what your dashboard should look like if you've completed all three steps required to set up your shop. Now you can see that we have things like your shop link, which is payhip.com slash the name of your shop, which remember you can change if you have your own domain name and I'll show you how to connect your domain name in a future video. Here is where you would see all your products and add new products, all your recent transaction, your blog posts, the number of sales you've had per month, your views, some more data related to sales, and if you wanted to go back to your store builder, here's where you would go back. All right. So we're going to end this video here. And with the next video in this series, we'll start 
build in our shop. I'll show you how to set up your homepage, your digital shop page, other pages that you might need for your shop, such as your private policy page, your frequently asked question pages. If you're following this series along, things that you can do ahead of time would be to obtain your domain name. So you haven't done that yet, go ahead and get your domain name and get your official business email address. Or if you don't have that, that's fine. You can use a Gmail address or whatever email that you have right now because you can always change it. But one of the steps that we're gonna go through as we move along this series would be to connect your own domain name so you don't have a payhip.com slash your shop name. It would be your own domain name. And we can remove things like this Powered by Payhip so it looks more professional. If we go back to my shop, you can see that it is my own website. It's jpsdigitalpages.com. And if you scroll all the way down, you don't have the Payhip branding. So it looks like a regular website, which looks more professional. All right, so I hope you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to click on the like button. If you wanna continue with this series, subscribe. You can turn on the notification bell so you're notified when I post the next video for this series. My goal is to make one or two videos a week related to Payhip so we can go through all of the steps required to have your shop up and running. If you have other questions related to setting up your Payhip shop, leave those comments in the description box and I'll create videos related to answering those questions. If you know anyone that's going through this process that might benefit from this video, go ahead and share this video with them. I have an affiliate link to Payhip and I am sharing this link because I use this product. Like I said, I have two digital product websites and they're both hosted on Payhip. So this is a product that I love to use and I'm happy to be an affiliate of Payhip to recommend this product to everyone. So if you want to sign up and of course support my channel, use my affiliate link in the description box. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Take care.